Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record weekly review special for week 49 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. This week, I brought in 3,257 points. Massive jump from where we were a week ago, over 500 points higher. It is also the best round score that I've had. So, bit of a surprise coming in this week. It's better than the score from four weeks ago, week 46, the previous record, which was at 3,010. It was also the first time we had gone above 3,000, so this is just the second time we've been over the 3,000 mark in a single week's score. The current virtual best, back up over 4,000 after the new game, Automation Empire, made its way onto the score charts, but we're going to have a new, another new one next week, so it's going to drop back down below 4,000 again. All-time virtual best actually sees an increase this week, 6,275, 40 points up from one week ago. Looking at the 10 games individually, Pro Cycling Manager 2019, the career mode, 325 points already approaching last season's total, and we've still got a fair amount of the season to go. Uh, we are August. I definitely think we'll get past uh, the other total. We wrapped up the Amgen Tour of California with a solid third place by Remco at Venipol. Objective was top five, so that was good. Uh, we nearly, nearly had a chance to do more than that. And we're doing pretty well uh, at the Giro as well. Actually, we, we've got a lot of season left, isn't it? Don't we? It's not August. It's Giro d'Italia. It's May. Holy cow, we've got a lot of points with a lot of season left to go. I'm just putting this together. Wow, we are doing well. Okay, uh, PCM19 in the Stage Racer, 317 points. That's the one that's in August doing the Volta Espana. Uh, just a weird up and down race so far. I didn't think we were going to be a top contender. Figured we'd be looking at something like the under 25s. And then somehow we're picked to be a top three. And I went out and won a stage. And then on the very next stage, everything fell apart. I relied on the team, and the team let me down so bad. And all of a sudden, there was a gap. We weren't far down. There was only 20, 25 riders ahead of us. And I was just at that point where I myself was about to take over, but we were right at the top. The, the line was right there, just a few meters away. And all of a sudden, just a little gap opened, one bike length, and bam. Five seconds later, we're a minute down. How, do, how you go from no gap to a minute in just five seconds, that's a video game for you. That's a video game for you. We were on speed one. But just like that, it happened, and there was nothing I could do to, to cover it. I had a couple teammates still around me who took that one-minute gap and turned it into a two-and-a-half-minute gap. And then on the final climb, I left that group behind they finished more than two minutes behind me i passed a yates brother i passed Froome. i passed others but i didn't pull back any time because i was riding so low i actually lost a little bit of time and ended up three minutes behind dropped to 12th place overall and yeah we'll see we've got two-thirds of the race to go and see what that does to the race very unfortunate. Uh, the Classics Rider, 190 points. It's been a rough journey on that one, going for just specific wins here and there. Uh, it's a very different playthrough, and until I actually get to being like Alaphilippe, I'm just I'm not good enough to get very many wins right now. I'm good enough to get the occasional top five or lower category win, which just doesn't do much for me. Uh, my team's crap, and... Yeah, it's just uh, odd times. Odd times. Uh, can't wait for next season. <laughs> Motorsport Manager, up to 23 points now. Five higher than a week ago. 
Uh, every time I score points, it's a good thing. 23 at the halfway point of the season. It's not bad. It's not bad. We need to do a little more, though. Definitely need to do a little more. Uh, but, of course, the way that I play the game, the way I develop the car, maximize its potential, will be better the final quarter of the season. And hopefully... I'll continue to score points now for a quarter of the season, get another 10-15 now, and then maybe the last quarter of the season we can get another 20-30 to 30 points. That's what I'm aiming for. I'd like to see this total not just doubled by the end of the season since we're at the halfway point, but more like 60 or 70 points by the end of the season. Uh, that would be an okay total. The devastating news is they've changed the scoring format for next season again, but this time going to points for just the top eight. We're back to the same old garbage scoring style of many years ago in F1, and I was so mad. I, I used double voting points against it, and we ended up level on points, and Jean Tat voted in favor. Sad day. Uh, Rebel Inc., new record, 630 points. I went back to normal difficulty to refine my skills a bit more before going through Brutal. Learn a few more things, be better about how to use them, understanding how they impact things before I take on Brutal because you really need to know the game and how to react to things. And I didn't know the game well enough for that. And it's already starting to pay off. New record score and two five-star performances this week. So uh, not perfect, but I'm, I'm getting better with each time. So I went from a single five-star performance to now I've had three. And that's only in a few attempts back at normal. So uh, starting to really establish myself in normal so I won't stay there very long before I go back to brutal but it's it's having an impact getting a bit of an education uh, rebel cops still still at 350 we're still in a big mission but we're making progress and we are into the final stages and there should only be one episode remaining in that series as we prepare to transition to an upcoming release uh, I've got a tab open right now with somebody who got an early release copy of it. I did not get an early release copy of it, otherwise I would have already started a series on it. But uh, we'll see that game come out in just about a week's time. Or less than a week's time, by the time you're seeing this anyway. Uh, the one that did finish this week, Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019. Oh, I can't believe I'm bringing that series to an end. But after so many episodes, the views are, are just down. And we're four months away from uh, March Madness and that being a thing. So there's not going to be a boost anytime soon for that series. And with as few views as it was getting, it was time to retire. Uh, it is and has already been replaced by the Pro Basketball Series by Draft Day Sports by Wolverine Studios. Uh, and that's the 2020 edition so it will take its place in the scoring charts next week for the final episode for the college basketball series I did not come away with a championship ever I made one championship game which we lost to Duke a few years back that was actually my only final four appearance I made the elite eight quite a few times including in this final season and we came so close to making the final four against north carolina led by two last second shot north carolina sunk the three-pointer to get to the final four and knocking us out we were that close last second shot that's what it took to beat us Pro Cycling Manager 2018 Career Mode, up to 260 points now. That's the one that I, I'm quick simming way too much, I think, to, to match that 439 total uh, of the previous season. 
And we finished the silly season this week, as in the signing period for next year, and it's still not going to be enough to push the team to World Tour status. And so that just cements the the fact that I will end that series at the end of the season, uh, because it's just it's not going anywhere. Our budget that we started with initially was just too small, and we are inching our way to the type of budget necessary to reach the World Tour status. It would happen eventually. But it's not going to happen now. Automation Empire, 150 points, getting further and further along, and I think we're about to finish our first map. Earlier than I thought we would. I thought it was going to take a lot to finish it. It's it's not. I'm, I'm going to be able to do that relatively soon. Football Manager 2020, uh, seven more points. Uh, this week, which is not a big total, but two wins and a draw. I am finding form, and that's good. Uh, we're still a month away from entering the FA Cup, and that's where we'll see a jump in score, win or lose, as we'll already be in the third round. Uh, team objective is to reach the fourth round, so we're not going to be in it for long. It's just to be a couple games, and other than that, it's all just league. And I think uh, we left off at the end of the episode this week in eighth place in the league so we've been inching our way up from just above relegation zone at the start of the season to back end of the middle of the pack to definitely middle to upper middle to now eighth place definitely on the edge of upper middle to the competitors so not far off Really solid week, lots of points, but 585 points are going to go away next week. Replaced by the Pro Basketball one. If you have not seen the latest episode on that and you are interested in seeing that series, please do so. Don't delay on that. I'm actually looking for a little feedback. I haven't finalized how I'm going to score that game just yet. It'll depend on the number of championships everyone feels that I should get. You could also leave a comment here for that one if you would like. Uh, but I'm trying to decide whether the target should be to win a single championship, two championships. I'd, actually, I think it was three. One, three, five, or six as the ultimate target. The comparison, the Kings franchise, which I took over and moved to Seattle, or the original Seattle Sonics franchise, both of them have won a single championship in their history. So do I match that? That's one. And just get a championship. Woo, yay, we won a championship. End the series. Or do we then go for additional championships to get among the best teams of all time? Well, three already puts you just outside that mark of the very, very top teams all time. You know, we're talking many, many decades of playing basketball. Then, to get to the super elite, you're looking at five or six. Only two franchises have more than six all-time NBA championships, and we're not going to reach that mark. It's 17 and 16 by the Celtics and Lakers. We're not going to get anywhere near that. That series is not going to go on that long, guaranteed. So with that off the table somewhere in between one and six is going to be the goal that'll determine how i finalize the the point scoring for that series and maybe I'll, next week I'll, I'll show what that that ends up being so be sure to leave a, a comment below if you have a preference on what i should aim for even if you haven't seen the series let me know what you think i should aim for uh, something realistic is definitely the target and that's why we're going six or below but even that that would make for a really long series I uh, just did the first season in about seven episodes. Future seasons, I think I could do uh, about five episodes a piece, I would think, uh, pacing-wise. So uh, it doesn't take that long to get through a season, but it's going to take a long time before I can build a championship contender as I'm starting with terrible attributes. So uh, a lot of work to do before we're going to be competitive. Then we got to win a championship. But then how many do we have to win? Because that could take a long time. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for the feedback, and thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.